大家好，我是 Olive Branch 的 Alan。So if you're contemplating about starting a fast but you're worried about losing muscle mass, then continue to watch this video. So I'm going to be talking about how your muscle actually responds in a fasted state. What is the stimulus that makes it change? Also, I'll be explaining to you when you're in a fasted state, what are you burning, fat or protein? And of course, I'm going to explain to you if you are burning protein, where does it come from? So when we're talking about muscle in a fasted state. What really matters when it comes to muscle is whether you are doing any resistance training or strength training. Are you doing exercise that causes muscle breakdown and then for it to repair itself, or are you not doing that type of exercise? With more resistance training, the more there is a need to retain muscle mass. So if you're not doing that type of exercise, then muscle will naturally wither away, whether you're in a fasted state or not. It is true that for muscle to grow and synthesize, you do need amino acids, specifically. The branch chain amino acid leucine. So as long as you have that in your body somewhere, it's not going to be burning and taking down your muscle protein. Lastly, is that if you're trying to do any fast that's longer than five days, then yes, you might not have enough protein in the body to maintain muscle mass. But any fast that's less than five days, you're probably okay. This isn't going to be a problem. So your body stores food energy in the form of fat. Cells. So, if you are in a state where you have no food coming in, your body is naturally going to tap into your food storage energy supply, which is your fat. It doesn't make sense for your body to then switch over and start burning up muscle energy and muscle protein to fuel the body, since you already have a storage form of that. So, it's the most simple example to give you guys is that if you're trying to、uh, survive and you don't have enough food. It makes absolutely no sense for your body to just start destroying muscle, thereby making your chances of hunting and foraging for food drastically lower. So that's why it's you have fat cells so that your body can tap into more energy, sparing your muscle because that's essential for survival, so that you can continue to use your body to find more food. There's a study that's been shown that when people are going into a fast, their lean body mass compared to their fat. Cells percentage after a 70-day alternate day fast, you can see that their lean body mass has stayed the same, but their fat has actually gone down. So yes, there may have some form of protein breakdown when you're in a fast, but most of that protein is actually not coming from your muscles, but in fact, it's coming from your skin and your intestinal lining. So this is why people who are fasting and they lose a lot of lot of fat, they don't actually have a lot of excess skin that needs to be cut off. Because the body naturally recycles that protein as well, and so the only thing to keep in mind, though, however, is that people who are very lean—and when I say lean, I mean less than four percent body fat—they will actually burn more protein than fat. So it naturally makes sense that if you have more fat when you're fasting, you will burn up more fat relative to protein. But the leaner you are, the less fat you have, the more of the protein will be broken down. So my final recommendation, guys, is that if you're doing a five-day fast or less than that, then you don't really need to worry about muscle loss at all. However, if you do, or if you are going on a fast and you want to further muscle proof it, then I do recommend doing resistance training during a fasted state, and that will further signal to your body that you need to retain that muscle. So that's it for today. I hope you found that useful. Please leave any questions or comments below, and I'll see you next time.